Welcome back to the Tweaking Tool series. This is episode 13, and today we're going after something every competitive player hates. Buffer bloat and ping jitter. You've probably seen it. You're sitting on 30 ping, everything feels smooth, then out of nowhere, your shots start registering late, or your hit red just goes sideways. That's not your ISP, that's buffer bloat. Buffer bloat happens when your system or router queues too many packets at once, trying to be helpful. Instead of sending them instantly, it stores them, which causes input delay, lag spikes, and inconsistent hit timing. So in this video, we're combining Windows side network tuning, router QoS settings, and NIC level registry tweaks to get the most consistent ping possible without breaking stability or your connection. Let's get straight into it. Step one, check if you're affected by buffer bloat. Before we start fixing anything, let's make sure buffer bloat is really the problem and not just a general connection issue. First, head over to the Waveform Buffer Bloat Test website. Run the test while you've got something else happening in the background. Maybe stream a YouTube video, download a game update, or upload a file. This helps simulate real-world use while the test measures your latency. Once the test finishes, pay attention to the buffer bloat grade. If you get a C or anything lower, that's a sign you're running into serious queuing delay when your network is under load, meaning your uploads or downloads are creating lag spikes for everything else. Next, open Command Prompt, Admin, on your PC and type the following command, ping, 8.8.8.8-T. .8 this will continuously ping Google's DNS server. While that's running, start uploading a big file or backing something up to the cloud in the background. Watch the ping times carefully. If your ping jumps by 50 to 200 milliseconds or more, that's a classic sign of buffer bloat, your router or network interface is holding packets too long instead of sending them quickly. If that's what you're seeing, don't worry, we'll fix it next from both the Windows network adapter side and your router settings. Step 2. Registry Level NIC Q and Offload Optimization Windows network drivers use several layers of buffering to improve throughput, but that adds delay for real-time packets like game traffic or voice chat. We'll tune it for responsiveness instead. Open Command Prompt Admin and enter these safe tweaks. Disable Large Send Offload, reduces buffering delay. Enable TCP ACK Prioritization, reduces TCP Acknowledgement Lag. Enable TCP No Delay for All Apps, disables Nagel's algorithm. Disable Power Saving Delays on the Network Adapter. These reduce NIC buffer depth, disable unnecessary TCP batching, and keep the NIC awake during traffic spikes. Here are the revert commands in case these tweaks goes wrong. Then reboot your PC to apply changes. Optional check, in Device Manager, Network Adapters, Properties, Advanced, Confirm that energy-efficient Ethernet and flow control are disabled manually. Step 3. If you confirmed buffer bloat earlier, one of the most effective ways to reduce it is by tweaking your Windows network adapter settings. Your PC's default adapter configuration often prioritizes raw throughput over latency, which can make ping spikes worse under heavy upload or download loads. Let's change that. Open Device Manager. Press Windows plus X. Choose Device Manager. Expand Network Adapters and find your active connection, usually something like Intel Ethernet Controller, Realtek PCIe, or Wi-Fi Adapter. Open Adapter Properties. Right-click your adapter, select Properties. Go to the Advanced tab. This is where most performance-related options live. Adjust key settings. Interrupt moderation, disable. This helps reduce input lag and ping spikes. Large send offload, IPv4 or IPv6, disable. Prevents your adapter from batching packets too aggressively. 
Receive Side Scaling RSS, Enable Let's multiple CPU cores handle traffic more efficiently. Energy Efficient Ethernet EEE, Disable Stops power saving features that can delay packets. Speed and duplex set to auto negotiation unless you experience instability, then try 1.0 gigabits full duplex. Apply and restart. Click OK, then restart your PC to make sure all settings take effect. These tweaks make your network card process data more responsively and reduce the chance of local buffering. They don't change your internet speed, but they can noticeably cut down latency during uploads, gaming, or streaming. Step 4. Windows Network Stack and Congestion Control Tuning Windows uses a congestion algorithm called CTCP, optimized for bulk downloads, not real-time games. We'll switch to a lighter, low-delay model and tune its parameters. Run these commands in CMD Admin. Set Low Latency Congestion Control. Disable auto-tuning for consistency. Enable ECN. Disable RSC. Disable TCP chimney offload. These commands limit how much Windows groups or defers network packets, trading a small amount of throughput for much lower latency under load. You'll feel this most in shooters, rhythm games, and voice chat. Step 5. Validation and real-world testing. Now, let's see if it worked. Open CMD again and run ping 8.8.8.8t. Start a YouTube video in the background or a Steam download. Before optimization, your ping might spike by 100 to 200 milliseconds. After, it should only jump by 5 to 10 milliseconds max. Test again at waveform.com buffer bloat test you should see A or A plus grade. In game, you'll notice consistent hit reg, lower input delay, and smoother packet timing, even during background activity. Optional, you can monitor queue and latency using ping plotter or glass wire for real-time visual feedback. And that's how you fix buffer bloat and ping jitter for good. We didn't chase fake zero ping claims. We cleaned up your actual queue structure, driver buffers, and router latency. To recap, we tuned Windows NIC queues and offloading, applied smarter router side bandwidth control, switched to real low latency TCP modes, validated results with real tests. This is one of those optimizations that you feel immediately. Every movement, every bullet, every interaction just feels more instant. If you game competitively or stream, this is one of the best tweaks you can ever do. Next up, we'll go a step further, pairing these network optimizations with game-specific UDP prioritization and Windows Packet Scheduler tweaks to lock in consistent latency no matter what else is running. Like always, back up before editing anything, test your results, and share your ping improvements in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.